Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Two Phones, back again with another informative video. And today, I'm going to show you guys how to survive and cut the cord by using a talk and text only plan. Yes, I said it once again, talk and text only plan or a smartphone plan that just has one gigabyte of unlimited data, which means including 2G. So for those of you on text now wireless and Unreal Mobile and Freedom Pop, this video is a must see. This is part two of my no Wi-Fi, no problem. Top offline apps and games that you can use without any internet connection, including calls and texts. So you can still text, you can still call 100%. <laughs> All right. So um, just pay attention as we go. We're going to go into Google search. All right. Now, as you see at the top, I have no Wi-Fi, no problem. So let's look that up. Let's see what pops up. All right. And... Okay, we're going to click on the second link, and it's going to load up to the Play Store. And boom, yeah. These are the top apps for offline access without needing any internet access or Wi-Fi or data. Um, yeah, now, of course, you would need internet access to download these first, first if you haven't already got them pre-installed on your smartphone. But that's after that point. And once you set it all up, it'll start working for you. All right, so... Um, you got Spotify. Spotify, if you do the premium, if you do pay for the package, you will be able to download your music offline. So you will have offline access to your Spotify playlist if you do the premium package. Uh, Minecraft. Now I have it for I have it free or it's not free. I already paid for my Minecraft game, but um, yeah, you could play this without internet access. Okay, and um, Wikipedia, I know a lot of you all don't trust Wikipedia, but some other stuff is actually true. You just have to, it depends on the source, all right? It depends on the source. So, yeah, you can use it for offline access as well, all right? And we're just going to scroll down online. Now, Google Maps does have an offline access. You can use it um, once you turn on Wi-Fi only. And even when you're off Wi-Fi, let's say you're on Wi-Fi and then you lose connection, as long as the Wi-Fi only and your directions is still saved, you can use Google Maps. Google Translate, you can also use that. Um, learning language app, you can use that. Uh, most of the games right here, like Temple Run, Fruit Ninja, Minions, you can use it. Audible books, you can use for offline access. Uh, let's see what else we got. Um, some more map on uh, GPS apps. Uh, let's see another. I'm trying to think about another important app you guys might need. Um, Adobe Photoshop Editor. You can use that offline. Um, what else? What else? Amazon Kindle. You can read books offline. Okay. Um, let's see what else we got. Now, if you know notice any app you like. Go ahead and get it. Now, TripIt. Uh, TripIt is a travel organizer application. You can use that offline. Angry Birds. Google Play Music. If you get the $9.99 plan from Google uh, for the music, um, you can download music offline. All right? You can. I mean, if you pay for it, you can use it offline. But you have to pay for it. So, that's up to you. That's up to you if you, you want to be in that ecosystem. All right? All uh, right. Go keyboard. Uh, let's see what else. Evernote is a note taking application. You can sync your um, notes and projects online, offline. You can sync those up. Uh, flashlight, <laughs> of course, flashlight does not need Wi Fi. Um, Wonderlist to do to do list. You can use that offline. Um, Pocket. This is one of my favorite applications. I keep telling people. And not only that, they have a new feature where you can do podcasts. So you can listen to uh, your links. You can listen to what's been on the web without downloading a podcast application. Only, you know, if you choose to. All right. Um, and we're going down. And there's another podcast addict application that is 100% free. But you have to download it first and then 
Find your favorite podcast. And once you get back on the internet, it'll zinc up and boom, you'll be on the latest podcast. And Astro Fire Browser, but I think all Fire Browsers or Fire Manager apps you can use offline. I don't get why you wouldn't be able to. Yeah, I guess that, that's what they're trying to. Oh, okay, I see what they're saying. You can move files to the SD card. Okay. All right, got you. You can move files to SD card and cloud. All right, so that makes sense. And, yes, you do have Fire Manager, and they have a media player. So, yes, here we have it. All right. So, yeah, guys, um, that's my uh, list of games and apps that you can uh, you can use offline. All right. So, here we are. So, you can survive offline. Also, uh, let me remind you. That if you're on that text now plan, you can, well, yeah, you already know. You can play games. You can play games, no internet. Gotcha. You can play games, all right? Just, just a reminder, these are instant apps. You can play instantly right now on the Google Play, uh, Play Games app. Next radio for those on Samsung, LG, Motorola's, uh, HTC's, Alcatel's, Blue Phones, you can listen to music. Without downloading all that extra stuff, just get you a next radio app or, you know, get you a, a FM, FM radio app. Okay, so these are my top applications and games that you can play offline. I'll leave the list in the link below. This is part two. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Cut the cord. Save money. Get money.